Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use the count if and the count if s functions in Microsoft Excel. It's a lot easier than you think and I'm gonna show you step by step how you use these functions. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Here I am on my desktop and I have a sheet set up and I'm gonna show you step by step what you can do with count if. I also have this sheet available in the description if you wanna be able to follow along with this tutorial. The first tab that I'm on is the basic tab here and what I wanna do is in column A, I have a bunch of different colors. And let's say that I wanna count the number of uh, red that appear in my color column. So what I can do is, well, if I just look at this list, I can see just glancing at it that I have three items that say red. So I should be able to get three back if I count this, but let's say I had a list of a thousand or 2000 items, it wouldn't be as easy as just looking at this list and then just counting it by eye. So what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this cell here and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna type in an equal sign. That's what I always enter in when I'm typing a formula. And then we're gonna type in count, and then I'm gonna type in if. So count if, and we could read the description here. It counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given condition or the given condition. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up the parentheses. And what I'm gonna do is this is my range of data. So uh, rows two through 15 have the values I wanna look at. And then I'm gonna insert a comma and my criteria is red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert quotes in here. This is what I do when I enter a value directly. So if I'm entering text and then I'm gonna close the quotes and then I'm gonna close the parentheses. So what this is saying is in this range of A2 through A15, how many times does red appear in this list? And so if I hit enter, what it does is it tells me, well, hey, red appears three times. And we looked at that earlier and confirmed it by I as well. So we know it's working um, as we expect it to. Now, count if also works for numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the formula again. I'll start with an equal sign and then we're gonna type in count if. And what I'm gonna do now is once again, I'm gonna select the range. This time it's C2 through C15. And then we're gonna put in a comma. Let's say I wanted to count the number uh, four and how often that appears in this data. Here we see it shows up three times. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is here, since it's just a number, I can enter the number four, close the parentheses, hit enter. And here it tells me that, well, the number four shows up three times in this list. That's the very basic use of count if, where you're just searching for a specific value in a list. What we can also do is I'm gonna to jump to the next tab here called count multiple items. And what we can also do is not only do we have to just say, well, how many times does red appear? But what if you wanna know how many times does red and yellow appear? So here I have red, here I have another red, and here's a yellow, so I have four. So we wanna make sure this formula gives us four back. So what I can do, I'm gonna type in count if again, just like we've been typing in uh, the previous example. And here my range is A2 through A15. And this time what my criteria is gonna be is I'm gonna say red. Okay, and then I'm gonna close the parentheses. So just like we did before, I'm just gonna hit enter for now and we get three. That was the same as what we did earlier. But now what we could do is we could also add another count if, and this time I'm gonna select the same exact range as I did for red, except this time the criteria is going to be yellow. And then I'm gonna close the parentheses, uh, the quotes and the parentheses, hit enter. And so what it does is, well, there are three reds in this part of the formula and there's one yellow in this part and I simply add them up. So that's how I could count multiple items. So how many times does red appear and how many times does yellow appear and I add it. Now, moving on to the next tab, greater or less than, some other things that I could do with count if, this one's kind of neat. If I wanna say, well, how many numbers in this list are less than 10? So what I'll do is I'll enter my formula again and type in count if, and once again, I'm gonna select this as my range. And for the criteria, what I can do is I'm gonna put, a, um, I'm gonna put the uh, quotes in and I'm gonna say less than 10, close uh, the quotes and then close the parentheses. And so what you could see is if I hit enter, it tells me 13. If I select this whole list, uh, this list right here has 14 items. Um, but only 13 of them are uh, less than 10. So it returns that. I could also say, well, how many are less than, let's say eight, and uh, that gives me 10. So here I could confirm that I have 10 rows that are less than eight. Um, what you could also do is I could say, well, how many are greater than eight? So I could just flip that sign around. 
and here I have three values that are greater than eight. So I could do greater than, less than uh, with the count if uh, function as well. Now we're gonna jump on to another example here, greater and less than. So let's say I wanna know how many items are, let's say, uh, less than or equal to nine, but greater than or equal to one. Okay, so I'm gonna combine those. And so what I could do here is I'm gonna once again enter in my count if, and we're gonna open this up. And so the first part, let's select the range again, and uh, my criteria, I said less than or equal to nine. Um, so let's go ahead and put in our quotes, and we'll do less than equal to nine, and then we'll close the um, parentheses, or let's see, uh, close the quotes, close the parentheses, and hit enter. And so once again, less than or equal to nine, I have 13 items. Um, and now what we wanna do is we also wanna know which ones are greater than or equal to one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna subtract and what I can do is, let's uh, insert another count if, and I'll select uh, this as my range. And for my criteria now, what I'm gonna do is, I said greater than or equal to one. Um, so for this, what I wanna do is basically anything under there. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's put in, uh, we'll do less than uh, one. And then we'll close the parentheses. And if I hit enter, it tells me that there are 11 items uh, between nine and one. And so here, if I highlight these, I could confirm that. So 10 and zero are outside of that set. So you, what you could do is greater than and less than, um, or basically how many values are between these two. And so once again, there's the formula if you wanna look at that. So what I did is I said, well, how many are uh, less than or equal to nine, which is this set, and then I subtracted the zeros from that, uh, from this range that I selected. What you can also do with uh, count if, this is a very nice one, you could do not equals two. So let's say I wanna know how many values are in this list that are not equal to four. So once again, just to know what number we're looking for here. So I have 14 items in the list and three of them uh, do not match what I'm looking for. So we should find the number 11. So once again, we have uh, 14 items, three of them uh, don't match. And so we wanna get 11 back. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in count if again, uh, we're gonna type in count if, and then this is our range of numbers that we're looking at. And then for this, for the criteria, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, less than does not equal, so this is the not equal sign. It's basically a less than and a greater than sign, and then we could say four. And then we're gonna uh, close this off and run that, and so here it tells us 11 uh, basically 11 values uh, in this list or this data range do not equal four. And what you can also do is let's say that I have four in a cell and I wanna look against the cell. So instead of entering the value here, I simply wanna click into that cell. Well, what I could do is I'll say does not equal, and here I can insert an ampersand, so basically concatenate and then this cell, and I could run it again. So here if I wanna say, well, how many don't equal a five or how many don't equal a, let's say a, a zero, um, so there I could, I could update it more quickly where I don't have to type the value into the formula. Now some of the other advantage, we're gonna jump onto the next ha uh, tab here, and now we're gonna look at sequence of characters, and I wanna look for two different things. One of them is, well, in this list of colors, I wanna count how many of these colors start with M, and once again, just kinda glancing at the list, I see that there are two that start with an M. So how do we do that? Well, count if to the rescue again, I'm gonna type in count if, we're gonna look at this range of colors and what we can do then is for the criteria, we're gonna insert our quotes again and this is where uh, we're gonna type in an M because that's the first character we care about and then we could use a wildcard character and a wildcard character is an asterisk. Basically it says start with an M and then the ast this asterisk says anything after the M, I don't care what it is, any number of characters, just tell me if it starts with that letter. We're gonna close the quotes and the parentheses and hit uh, enter and so there are two, so magenta and maroon. Uh, you could also use the same technique with uh, end, and so I'm gonna type in the count if formula again, select this range, and for the criteria, I wanna know, well, how many colors end with an E? So you have purple, you have white, and here's another white, oh, and there's a blue, so there should be four items. Uh, so my criteria here, just like we did above, we're gonna use the wildcard uh, character, which is the asterisk, and then we're gonna say ends with an E. So basically anything, we don't care what shows up in front of the E, we only care that it ends with an E. We're gonna close our quotes and the parentheses, hit enter, and it tells me that four items end with an E. 
So the count if function helps us again. What we can also do is we could use count if to find specifics. Like for example, if you wanted to know, well, how many four letter words end in an E? And once again, count if helps us with this one as well. We're gonna select the same range like we've been doing all along. But here for the criteria, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert question mark. So what a question mark does is it simply says, for the character in the first position, we don't care what it is. In the second position, we don't care what it is. In the third position, we don't care what it is. But in the fourth position, it's gotta be an E. And then we close the parentheses, and I'm gonna hit enter, and there's only one item, and that's blue. We have a few other words that end with an E down here, purple, white, and here's another white. However, they, they don't have three letters before the E, so that's why count if only gave us one back. So now what we're gonna do is that's how you use the count if function. Now we're gonna jump into the count if s function. You could think of the difference as the s as part of count if is plural because we're looking at multiple criteria. Here I clicked into another sheet and I wanna find out, so you know, just to orient you to the data here, I have a bunch of names of salespeople. They work in different regions. They have a different number of orders that they've achieved and they've driven a certain amount of revenue for this company. And let's say I'm a manager of this company and I wanna know, well, how many people are in the East region with at least 400 orders? Well, this is getting a little more complicated because now I wanna know, well, how many people are in East, but then also the orders have to be above a certain amount. So I have multiple criteria that I'm looking for. So once again, we could use count if with an S. So I'm gonna type in count if with an S. And so here just the description is counts the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. Um, so there you see it's plural. And so what we're gonna do is first off, we're gonna say, well, the first range is, well, I wanna know the region. Let's start with this and start with the region. So I'm gonna select these and my criteria is I want them to be in the east. Okay. So we did that, um, and so if I, just, if I just ran that on its own, it would tell me that there are three, because I have three people in the east. Now I'm gonna type in my next set of criteria, and the next range is, well it says, well at least 400 orders. So let's select this next set of data here, the number of orders, and then my criteria is going to be um, at least 400 orders, so it's greater than or equal to, and then we're gonna type in 400, and then I'm gonna close the quotes and the parentheses. And let's hit enter, and so two people, so here's my east region, and then of the east region, we could go through and just look at this by eye too, so 329, 467, and 501. So out of those three, only two people have over 400. Unfortunately, Bill's only at 329, which is less than 400. And so this count if looked at two sets of criteria or two different conditions uh, to tell me that. So the count if uh, s function, uh, works very well. And another way to confirm it is you could use filters. So here, if I click on the filter, I could say, well, how many are in the east? So I'll select that. And then uh, I'll apply a number filter where I say greater than or equal to, and we'll just type in 400. So just another way just to verify that I set up my formula correctly. And here I get two results back. Okay, well, now that we walk through the count if and the count if s functions, I wanted to show one extra bonus at the end, and that is you can use Microsoft Excel on your PC or also on the web, and you could use it on the web for free. So here, if I go to office.com, you could sign in, and I'm just gonna sign in with my demo account. So here, once I log in, I land on the main office.com page. You'll see there's an option for Microsoft Excel. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'll create a new blank workbook. The really nice thing is even with the online version of Excel, what you can do is you could use the count if and count if s functions online entirely for free. So here I'm gonna type it in. You see the count if function appears and the count if s function appear. So even if you haven't paid for Office or you don't have the desktop version on your machine, you can still take advantage of this function by using the online product. Uh, so pretty nice and pretty easy. All right, well that's how easy it is to use the count if and the count if s functions. You could use it to look at a range of data and then count the number of values that meet a certain condition that you set. If you learned how to use this and you feel like you're pretty competent in using it, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you want to see me create in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.